So there's a reason your Apple Watch's HRV looks lower and then you force a reading and it looks better is because Apple is just picking the data points willy-nilly. It's not necessarily the most strategic time to pick your HRV reading. This is why I'm asking people, if you want a better HRV reading with your Apple Watch, to one, go to the bathroom in the morning, then do the one minute breathe app and force an extra HRV reading because, well, that is the most optimal way for you to take a reading because you have to be still to get the HRV reading to be kind of accurate. And if it's at the end of your slumber period, you are still in that parasympathetic state, so it is a more accurate HRV reading. Now, your HRV, the numbers are going to change, it's going to go up and down, that's totally normal, but you're right, it looks lower in general, and that's why we want you to take extra data points, because it might not be the best read of what you are. This is why I also recommend, if this is your jam, that maybe the Aura Ring or Whoop is something you might want to invest in if you want to know more. There are more metrics, better readings. However, I want you to be able to use what you have and we want to optimize it.